All right, um, this video is about modes. Uh, once again, um, the aim of this whole thing is to, um, first of all, for the, the gentleman in um, the Art of David Bass class in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. But um, we want to make it as simple as we can for everyone. You know, um, so we may mention some technical terms, and some we may just omit, not because we don't know them, but because we want everyone to have the basic knowledge of what we're trying to accomplish, and we could always get more advanced from there. All right, so we're you know trying to approach it the way um, we've been taught over the years in terms of the school system. But we're gonna keep it down to earth for the layman, for everybody to be able to participate. All right, so we're gonna talk about modes. Um, modes are frequently used seldomly understood and I want to say underappreciated. I myself um, I play a lot of modes but just now I've stepped into a deeper understanding of them. You know over the years you play them and you really don't know what you're playing. And um, especially when it comes to soloing that's something that you know I, 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 I can say a lot of people in my circle who have been focusing on the aspect of soloing because um, a lot of times the concept you wonder where to start, where to end. We're not going to touch soloing today, but we're going to talk about the whole foundation of modes. All right, we think about modes. Um, earlier you learned about the the major scale. Once again, we always start with C major scale because it's so easy. Of course, we can progress from there. But we're gonna keep it as simple as possible, and then you can work your way up. Um, modes has to do with you're thinking about a scale diatonically. Let's say all the notes in the C major scale: C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Right? So all those notes within that range are diatonic. They are part of that scale. Now, when you're thinking modes, you're thinking that each each element within that scale has a scale assigned to it. Um, that's just the easiest way I can have you picture modes in your mind. And they've all been given Latin names. Um, the first mode is Ionian, which is the one which is the one uh, the the mode that you always use. You're thinking about the major scale that's the Ionian. Uh, the second degree is the Dorian. So then the third degree is the Phrygian. The fourth degree is the Lydian. The fifth degree is the Mixolydian. The sixth degree is the Aeolian. The seventh is the Locrian. And then you start back over again. Now, one of the most, two of the most popular used ones, of course, are the Ionian and the Aeolian. Because earlier, I think, well, hopefully, I'm kind of losing track of the videos, but we've talked about major scales and their relative minors. If not, we touched it in class and we'll touch it on the videos um, real soon. But um, those are two of the mostly used, widely used ones, the Ionian, which is the first degree, and the Aeolian, which is the second, I'm mean the sixth degree. All right, so let's go in real quick on the base, just so you understand the concept, and then we'll try to establish the basic patterns. Now, as always, C on the A string. Everybody, I mean, by now, got used to the C major scale. That is the Ionian mode. Now, the Dorian. I mean, I know the names are complicated. I want to say the hardest part about this thing is actually remembering the names. The Dorian is thinking the same concept, but in start of starting on that C, you start on a D. So if you watch my set, I'm going to play outside of the actual um, positioning for my hand, but just for you to picture it in your head. So the Dorian is you're starting on a D. You're playing E, F, G, A. B, C, and then finish on that D. And that's your Dorian mode. Alright, so the concept is you're starting on the second degree of the same scale you played before, which is a C major scale, and you're ending on that second degree. Once again, I'm playing it out of position just so you have an idea of what it looks like. Now we're thinking about the Phrygian, which is the third degree. So we start on the E, F, G, A, B, C, D, then E. Are 
you think about a lydian similar concept f g a b c d e e f all right so let's put them in position all right um Ionian again. I'm gonna just kind of run through the different positions. I mean, the concept that you've learned so far applies. You take it all the way up from G, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You take it to A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. And you just keep going until you, you get back to the Ionian or the octave version of it. All right, so the positioning, starting from the A string, that D on the A string for the Dorian. D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. All right, for the frigid, it's E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. <clears throat> All right, for the Lydian, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. For the mixolydian, it's G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. For the aeolian, it's A, B, C, D, E, F. G, A, then finally the low grid. It's B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Now, I know it really doesn't sound like it makes sense. Now, I mean, just go ahead and practice those back and forth until they become really familiar with you to you. Um, once again, like I said, the one widely used ones are the Ionian and the Aeolian. Alright, um, it's a uh, simple groove. Uh, so you play the groove simple as that. You know, now how can these modes help me? All right, so I took that simple movement, which is one. And then I went to the six, but I didn't just leave it; I did a run. utilize my alien right there and if I wanted to I can actually just can't come back with my Dorian so let's try that all right so simple movement one six two five one and to substitute the six just from keeping it from sounding bland. I the next movement was a two and I just descended. Then I went to the five. Then I leading tone. Going back to the one. So that's how you can use more then like I said, just listen to the music. You hear them all the times and um in those fabulous runs. Um it's just for you to figure out what is being used, which one is being used, to understand the concept, and then to dissect it and make sure you have it ready to apply to something else in the future. Alright, so that's the video on modes for right now. God bless. Bye.